This is Dr. Ronald Levine. As a doctor of chiropractic, many of my patients turn to me for simple solutions to the problems of everyday living. And one of the challenges of everyday living is that we spend too much time sitting. If you can improve your sitting posture, you'll have less spine and neck pain, and you'll have more energy to spare for the other interesting parts of life. So today I want to show you two simple strategies that will help you learn to sit better. You may have a few questions, so here is my email address. Please contact me. I'll share it with you again at the end of today's lesson. Before we get started, I want to show you something about this anatomy of the pelvic bones. Here is your pelvic bone viewed from the side. And at the bottom, the blue part, it's a part of the pelvis called the ischium. And that rounded section at the bottom of the ischium, that's the sit bone area that we actually sit on. They call it the ischial tuberosity, or in plain English, they also call it the sit bone. For the first exercise, you're going to build your awareness of the sit bone area so that your spine can find the exact correct balance point. You'll begin by sitting and rocking backward and forward in an exaggerated way on that sit bone. And as you continue with the exercise, you can begin to make the, rock, the, the rocking action a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller your purpose is to find the exact balance point where your spine is straight, your abdominals are engaged, and there's minimum pressure on your neck. See, if you don't find that correct balance point, here's what's going to happen when you work on your computer. You're going to slump forward just like everybody else. Now here's another strategy you can use. Rather than sitting on a flat surface, you can place a small cushion or a rolled up towel or a little pillow on the back half of your chair under your sit bones. You'll find it easier to find that correct balance point and you'll be able to perch forward over your work instead of slumping forward. I'll show you that perched forward posture one more time. And here's my email address one more time. Please contact me.